All right, this is another problem from a previous exam on variance of annuities that I had trouble with the first time I went over it, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, they give us that Z is the present value random variable for an N-year endowment insurance on X payable at the end of the year. Okay, so there's no bar over the A. And that Y is kind of tricky. That Y is the present value random variable for an N-year temporary life annuity on X. Now, it pays at the end of the year if they live to the beginning of that year. So we don't have notation for anything like that. This is not a typical annuity. We'll have to be a little creative and really understand what's going on to define it. And I had trouble with that the first time. Um, they also give us that the variance of Z, or the variance of our N-year endowment insurance payable at the end of the year is 0 0.02, and that our annual effective rate of interest is 5%. So the first thing is to kind of figure out what exactly is happening with this annuity. Let's think about, this is an annuity that pays at the end of the year, excuse me, if you live to the beginning of that year. And that's not something that we're used to seeing, but let's think about let's think about an annuity that we do understand and have seen. Like for example, an annuity due. An N-year temporary annuity due on X would pay at the beginning of the year if you're alive. So this looks like you get a payment of one right away. Then if you live to the next year, you get one discounted back one period with interest. If you live two years, you get another one discounted back for two years now with interest, etc. Up until n minus one px, because going from one to n minus one px is going to give you n payments. A little tricky because it's an annuity due that starts right away, and this gets discounted back n minus one periods. Okay, we know that and we understand it. So we have now, whereas before we had a payment of one for just living now at time zero, now that's going to be payable at the end of the year instead of the beginning of the year. So we're going to discount that back. Not sort of like zero px. Now get discounted back. Instead of getting it at the beginning of the year, we get it at the end of the year. Then if you live one year, one px, you get paid at the end of that year. Okay, so now we're just cutting that back two periods for interest. And on and on until um, let's see. If you live to that last period, then you get paid at the end of that year, and it gets discounted back the whole end periods. Okay, this is one. So what we have is an end year temporary annuity due on X, except that everything's multiplied by an extra V. So, what we are, the actuarial present value of our annuity, or in other words, the expected value of y, which is the random variable representing the true present value of that annuity, is going to be v times an N-year temporary annuity 
do on x. Okay, so we want to find the variance of this. I don't even know if I mentioned that, but that's the question that we're trying to solve. They want us to find the variance of y. Okay, so let's work that out. The variance of y will be the variance of, um, you could write VAXN. That's not exactly true because this is the expected value of y. It's not really y. Um, one way to write y, it's a notation that I like. Um, it's the random variable that represents the true present value of this, and this is an expectation. One way that you can indicate that it's the actual present value, that it's the true present value, like if you knew exactly what, um, when they were going to die or how their lifetime was distributed, is you can put two lines underneath it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what we're really looking for is the variance of this. Okay. Now this should get should simplify pretty nicely. So this is going to be the variance of v times k. We can write this annuity as 1 minus the corresponding insurance over whatever appropriate interest rate. Here it's going to be D since we have an annuity due. So this will be 1 minus the true present value of this N year endowment insurance over D. Okay, and this up here. That's how they're using um, z, too. This would actually be, this is wrong. This would be the expected value of d, is the actuarial present value of this insurance, but z itself is the true present value if we knew how mortality, if we knew exactly what their mortality was. So, This is what we're looking for. Okay, so this is z. Let's keep that in mind. This v over d will simplify to 1 over i. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. We pull out a constant from the variance. We square it, and we're left with the variance of, actually, you know what? Let me split this up. I'm going to do it step by step to make sure we all see what's going on. The variance, this is now the variance of 1 minus the true present value of the insurance over i. Okay, I can break that up even farther to 1 over i minus the insurance over i. And the variance of a constant is 0. And then I'm going to pull out this negative 1 over i and square it. We're left with the variance of this insurance. Oops. Okay, which we're given, right? Yay. We're given that the variance of this insurance is 0 0.02. So we have 1 over i, which is 0 0.05 squared times 0 0.02. And you should get 8.
All right, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I'll do one more example on another video um, to hopefully kind of round things out if you still have questions. I uh, hope that helps. Happy studying.